So you watched my recent video on brass and barrels and stuff like that, and you thought, well, all these boxes of brass, I know you keep them straight, and we saw your little paper thing, but uh, maybe, I don't know, I've gotten some comments about it, and, and uh, it's something that we use at my club a lot. So the question is, how do we take virgin brass like this, which I just have, these are all waiting to be shot. Um, so that's virgin that's waiting to be shot. So this is all virgin brass. And then this is all brass that's been shot once or twice. Uh, I even have some more brass over here that's waiting. So what happens when that's all done and we're trying to keep all of this straight? Because again, keep in mind, I keep this hundred pieces of brass in this box at all times and here and here and here. And it's by having, you know, some sort of order to it. So let me show you the spreadsheet that I use. Let me show you what I'm going to share with you guys. And then we'll be back in a couple minutes and I will show you how I use it in practical application. You know, a box that needs to be annealed and another box that needs to be sized and brass that's ready to be loaded. How do we make sure that we're not screwing up that brass by double annealing or uh, forgetting to do a step? Well, it's using these checklists. And what I've done, and I've done this for my club uh, for a couple years now, uh, but I'm going to share it in the link below, which is a create your own checklist. And I have put in most of the steps, or at least the steps that I can think of that most people are going to do that are practical. And you can put them in an order, any order you want. And we have things like decapping and sizing on their own, or maybe you're using a die that does both. So you can decap and size together. You know, maybe you're trimming necks on one tool and deburring and chamfering on another or maybe you use a gerard so you're trimming deburr and chamfer all at the same time uh, you know this gives you some flexibility in my case uh, i'm loading on a progressive so i don't have you know dropping charges as one and seating bullets as another and expanding so i have one that says ready to expand charge and seat and so we're going to go ahead and set this up for how you know i currently reload which is first i'm going to clean my brass and then i'm going to anneal it and then we're going to lube it and then I decap and size at the same time. Uh, then we will trim, deburr, and chamfer. We're going to prime. And then we are going to put them aside Oops, as they are ready to expand, charge, and seat. Now, in theory, you would say, hey, great. You know, you should be able to know that it's primed and ready to expand, charge, and seat. But really, this just gives me confidence that they are truly ready to go into the case feeder. So... Now that I've put in the steps that matter to me and what order I want them in, so this is very important, you want to make sure you put these in order, I'm going to go to the Print Me page, and now you'll see that it has populated clean brass, anneal, blah, 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 blah. Now there are a lot of not applicables that are here. Uh, that is simply because those are all steps that I've chosen not to do, so it's just dead spaces. But once I print this out, I just cut out this section right here on each of them. And that's really all that needs to be done. In fact, if you look on the print section here, you'll see, um, you know, I would just cut out each of these and I just leave the check boxes and the area that I want. So this will make nine of them. If I was doing this just for me, obviously I could customize it so I get a lot more on a page, but I am catering to people that use any number of processes. So now that we have this, I'm going to print it out and let's go look in the real world and see how this is going to help. Well, here it is. So we saw it on the screen. This is how it prints out. And I, I know there's some waste here. And yes, I know there's ways around it, but not if I'm going to allow people to have, you know, 20 steps potentially. Uh, so uh, anyway, here's what it looks like. And then here's what happens when I cut them down. So uh, I end up with some of these and I just have a pile in my reloading thing here. And then this is what I do with them. So every piece, every box of brass has one of these with it and you can see this one here this one's all ready to go so everything's been checked off it is now ready to expand charge and seat okay and then we have this box here which has only been cleaned and annealed uh, we have cleaned and annealed and then this one here also cleaned and annealed and as i do any of these boxes i would then just check this off and it would stay with the box of ammo. And, and that's just really important. Um, you know, 
it just helps keep everything straight. It helps let me know exactly what's been done. Because let's face it, there's nothing worse than grabbing this and looking at it and going, well, you know, okay, maybe it's been annealed. Maybe it hasn't. Uh, you know, it's not decapped, so it probably hasn't been, de you know, hasn't been sized. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's still unknowns at any given point through the processes. And the more you can keep this kind of stuff straight and have a process in your reloading room, the better off you're going to be. So, uh, like I said before, there is a link to this spreadsheet in the description below. Feel free to use it. And uh, I hope it helps you guys stay organized.